We're really excited about a new project we have with Miami Children's Hospital. We're looking at how well text messaging might function as a way to prevent underage drinking in kids ranging in age from 12 to 18. These are kids that are patients, uh, ambulatory patients in the adolescent medicine program at Miami Children's Hospital. There's several things that are unique about our study. First of all, we've brought all these text messages together that have been used in other studies, and some of them have been conducted in other countries, so that's one of the, the things that's kind of interesting. We've got, a, again, this whole set of English language texts that have used, been used across about five different studies. Uh, and we've also added Spanish language versions of these. We've translated them and back translated them. That's one of the unique things about our study in that we were going to be working with a predominantly Hispanic Latino population. What's unique about Hispanic Latino kids is at least in middle school they're more likely to report drinking than our kids of other races and ethnicities. So they're more likely to report drinking than non-Hispanic white kids or African American kids. And so this is an interesting part too that we're designing these texts expressly for Hispanic Latino kids who are particularly high risk for underage drinking. And of course the reason we focus on underage alcohol use is it's the most prevalent of the risk behaviors among teenagers. Lots of kids use alcohol roughly three out of four by the time they're seniors in high school and this is a very prevalent behavior that has high risk associated with it. One of the exciting things about this research is that if we can get this type of prevention to be successful then we can reach out not only to predominantly English speaking kids but, but predominantly Spanish-speaking kids across this country and in other parts of the world. They are underserved and underrepresented in healthcare services, underrepresented in research, and we're excited to be able to bring this kind of prevention to this population that really, you know, these kids need, need our help. And there has been so much loss surrounding alcohol use and drug use in general that, you know, if we can make any impact on these kids at all, then we've done our job.